soy con música. Oh, Richie, uh, in the last albums you you recorded all the instruments, but uh, in the new one you had a support band. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, I did. You know, I, I, the last couple records I did, like I, I was in the studio alone. You know, played the drums and and the bass and the guitar and kind of sort of had like a stream of conscious kind of going. And I had everything set up, like the microphones on the drum set and the guitar amp and the bass was already ready to go. So the way I worked was kind of bouncing around, you know, mm -hmm. come up with the drum beat, overdub to it, go back, change it, and eventually, you know, make the song. And I did that on the last couple records, and this time I wanted to do something that was different from what I did before. And I wanted to kind of go back to the earlier records where I was playing with guys together. And uh, what, I, what I decided to do was pick a group of guys that I thought could really inspire me to kind of play and take the music to another level. Yeah, so I got my buddy Franklin, who's a great drummer, and he played drums. Um, Arlen Shirebaum is a guy who plays around in LA locally and has done a lot of cool music and does like the vintage, you know, Hammond organ and World of Piano. And working with those kind of guys, it just added another element to the record that kind of inspired me in a different way. It was perfect time for it, you know. Great. Okay. Uh, you usually play in concerts uh, some songs from former bands like It's the Big and Poison. Yeah. Uh, but uh, not much of the instrumental yeah. material, right? Right. And you know, I, it's weird because my first record was instrumental. Mm -hmm. But you know, my background is not instrumental music. My background is, is like playing in a, in a band. And when I was a teenager, I was in a band that played like folk and rock tunes. Which, in my opinion, personal, I think what you do is you, you carry the instrumental music because when you do a solo or anything, it's just, just like listen to the best of instrumental things. Sure. But if you have a great voice, you, you got well, it. And that's yeah. kind of what it is. Like, you know, I grew up playing in, in a band with a singer. And then when I, when I made my first record, it was to be focused on my guitar playing. But the second record, I was like, no, I want to do what I like, and that's playing and singing. So to communicate, maybe you know, more. Totally, to kind of interact, you know, and and, um, and it's more expressive. If I couldn't sing, mm -hmm. then I wouldn't make a vocal uh, instrumental record. But, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, it's true. It's four beers in. <laughs> yeah, you have a great voice for that. Thanks. Good. All right, so you you're familiar with some Brazilian music, the popular music. I'm not as familiar, you know, I, I get this, every time I go to another country and they're like, well, do you know about yeah, Japanese yeah. music, do you know about, you know, blah, 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 and I feel like a complete idiot because I'm a typical American, like I know about what happens down the street or, you know, up the road, but, um, you know, I kind of live in my own world, I, I don't know. but I think part of that for me is what enables me to kind of function and do what I do, you know, I, I like kind of, it sounds weird, but I, I like being alone a lot of times, and I like, I like silence, you know, like a lot of times I get like, hey, what's the matter with you? It's like, I'm, I'm fine, but I don't have anything to say, and I, and I like just being mellow. And then when I have that moment of like nothing going on, usually that's when I get creative, and all of a sudden I'll write a song, or I'll come up with an idea and go in the studio and stuff. So it's kind of my personality, you know. Um, for better or for worse, it is what it is. Yeah, sometimes you become more original this way. I think yeah, that's kind of that's kind of true. You know, I, I think I, I guess that's what uh, makes you who you are. You know, so mm -hmm. good point. <laughs> right. Being a leader. Yeah, I will. All right, so that's it, and I want to bother you so much. You know, you're tired. Well, thanks for having me, and hopefully I'll be back again and in your country. Great, and Brasil will be waiting. That's All great. Right. All right. right. Cool, buddy. Right. Thanks a lot. SL Revista Eletrônica. A sua revista virtual que traz entrevistas, agenda de shows, MP3, transcrições, exercícios, vídeos, resenhas de shows, CDs, equipamentos, novidades do mundo da música e muito mais. Acesse www.slrevistaeletronica.com.br A revista online de músico para música. Registre seus melhores momentos em DVD. A Job Produções produz os programas Sleepers Alternative, Show Total Souza Lima na TV e Tatu TV. 
clipes e DVDs ao vivo para bandas de todos os estilos e gêneros, festas infantis, casamentos, institucionais e empresariais. Solicite um orçamento sem compromisso e tenha seu evento em DVD. Vem estudar com quem entende de música. Souza Lima, a sua escola de música. Cursos livres, popular erudito, curso teórico, curso de áudio, produção musical. SL Kids e Faculdade Souza Lima e Berkeley. O Souza Lima possui estúdios de ensaio e gravação, salas para estudo e auditório. Oferece aulas teóricas, prática de bandas, coral, música de câmara, orquestras de violão e guitarra, workshops, seminários, shows, concursos e muito mais. Agora com três unidades, Jardins, Alphaville e Moema. Acesse o site www.sousalima.com.br